In today's video, I will show you step by step on how to transfer your Pokedex from KuCoin or any other exchange onto the mainnet platform so you can stake it. Hello everybody, my name is Sanad and welcome to another episode of The Clever Millionaire. Before we get started, I would appreciate it if you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description box below for some free crypto. So Pokedex has officially launched their mainnet and now a lot of people are trying to figure out how to take their Pokedex from KuCoin onto this mainnet platform in order to stake it. And I will be showing you exactly how it's done. But being completely honest, the process is a little bit tricky and you're going to have to pay some fees. But I'll cover everything in this video. And now let's jump right into it. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to download the MetaMask wallet, pretty much the extension browser for your computer. It will look something like this. Make sure you're on the Ethereum mainnet and make sure the wallet that you'll be using has Ethereum in it. This is for the fees that you will have to pay for pretty much transferring your Pokedex. All right, the next step that you have to do is you have to go on Coin Market Cap and you have to find Pokedex. Once you find Pokedex, as you can see right now, we're doing very well today. You're going to click on this right here. It says Contract, Ethereum, and then it shows the Fox. So you're going to click on the Fox, add to MetaMask. This will let you add PDEX to your MetaMask wallet. This is the easiest way that I know. And then you're going to press Add Token. And then once it's added to your wallet, you can simply click on the Fox once again and then scroll down and you will have the Pokedex option. Now you'll be able to transfer your Pokedex from KuCoin into this wallet. And now for step number two, you will have to log into your KuCoin account. You're going to have to press withdraw and then it will take you to this screen. Right here you will select Pokedex and then right here we will have to put in the wallet address. To get this address is very simple. We're going to go back to our MetaMask wallet and we're going to press right here, copy to clipboard. Once you press this, you will have your address copied. And then we are going to go back to this wallet and we are going to paste it. And then the network, we're going to put ERC20. And then right here, you will put in the amount of Pokedex that you want to withdraw. Keep in mind, there is a 1.5 Pokedex fee. So we are going to withdraw the max amount. Also, one other thing that I would like to mention, if you plan on purchasing more Pokedex on KuCoin, make sure you do it before you send it out. This way you do not have to pay the fee twice. And then we are going to press confirm. Once you press confirm, it will pretty much take us through the security procedure. We are going to press confirm withdraw. And then it will send us the security code. And then once you enter in your trading password and the text message code that they send you, your Pokedex will be officially withdrawn from the KuCoin exchange. And now let's continue with the process. So now we are going to go back to our MetaMask wallet and when you scroll down, you will see Pokedex. I currently have 126.786 in this wallet. It is just worth over $2,600. And now I will take you through the process of staking your Pokedex. And then the next step, you will go to polkadot.js.org and you're going to download the extension right here. So you're simply going to click on the extension and then you will download it for either Chrome or Firefox, whatever platform that you are using. Personally, I'm using Chrome, so we are going to download it for Chrome. Then we're gonna put add to Chrome, add extension, and then that extension will be added right here. And then once you open this extension, you are going to press understand and let me continue. And then on this step, you will have to create an account. If this is your first time, it will look something like this. But if you already have multiple accounts, then you can just select whichever account you want. But we are going to create one. So to create one, all you have to do is press the plus button and then press create new account. And then this will give you your new account and the 12 word seed. And then once you copy the 12 word seed, you'll press next and it will take you to this screen. And then you will have to create a name for your account and a password. So I will just call it PDEX wallet. 
And then once you create the name for your wallet and a password, you are going to press add the account with the generated seed. And then boom, now you will have a new account ready to go. So now we are ready to migrate. So you are going to go on this website, pokedex.trade slash migrate. Make sure you spell everything correctly so you are using the correct site. There's probably going to be a ton of scammers out there trying to get your Pokedex, but make sure you are very careful. Also, when you first open this website, you are going to receive two pop-ups. One from the Polkadot extension that we just created an account on and one from MetaMask. Make sure you allow the application access to your Polkadot extension wallet. So we're going to press yes. We're going to scroll down. We're going to press connect to wallet. It will connect us to the PDEX wallet that we created earlier in the extension. And then we're going to press connect the wallet. And then this will connect the wallet that we have our Pokedex in. We're simply going to press migrate now. And then this pop-up will appear showing us how much fees we are paying. As of right now, we are paying $13.15 worth of Ethereum. So make sure you have Ethereum in your wallet that is holding your Pokedex. Then we are going to press confirm and then it will start approving the process. This can take anywhere between five and 30 minutes, just depends on the network. And then when you are finished, you will see the migrated button at the very bottom. Make sure to have at least 30, 40 or even $50 worth of Ethereum in your wallet. That way it can cover the fees. And now for the final step, we are going to go to polkadot.js.org and it will bring you to this page. You are going to receive a pop-up asking you to allow access to the extension. Make sure you approve it. And then right here, you will see the amount of Pokedex that we have. So now you have officially migrated your tokens. And now I will show you how to stake them. So you are going to press network and then you are going to press staking. And then on this page, you are going to press account actions. And then on this page, you are going to press nominator. Make sure it is the plus button because you are going to add it. And then right here, you are able to enter in the amount of Pokedex that you are going to stake. As you can see, my balance is 126.7864 Pokedex, but I will be staking 125.7864. So I am keeping one Pokedex for future fees. And I recommend you guys do the same. Save at least half a Pokedex to a full Pokedex. And then the on-chain bonding is 28 days. This is pretty much like the lockup period. And then right here, you will select the payment destination. As you can see, you can stake it and then have your staking rewards separately or you can put those staking rewards back into staking so you can earn more. That is what I plan on doing. So stash account increase the amount of stake. And then we are going to press next. This is where you select nominators. This is a little bit tricky in my opinion because you do not know which one is going to perform the best. So personally, if you have no idea, just pick as many as you can and then we are going to continue the process. As you can see, you can select a lot of nominators. So I selected as many as I could and then we are going to press bond and nominate. And then right here, you are going to press sign and submit. Once you have this, you're going to enter in your password that you have created earlier. Remember me for the next 15 minutes, sign the transaction. And now you will be officially staking your Pokedex and earning some passive income. So congratulations, you are officially staking Pokedex and earning some passive income. As I make this video, we have no idea what the APY is right now, but I'm expecting it to be similar to Polkadot. And we all know in the beginning, the APY is very high. And then over time, as more people stake Pokedex, it will drop in value. So the sooner you start staking, the more money you are going to make. All right, everybody, that concludes this video. If you have any questions whatsoever or are having issues, make sure to drop your questions in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer and help you guys out as much as I possibly can. 
and please be very cautious. Do not listen to scammers in the comment section below that are asking you to send them some PDEX or to use their website or their platform or if you use their platform, you can double up on your PDEX. All of those are scammers. They're just trying to get your money. And make sure you only use the official websites when migrating your tokens. I will have all of them linked in the description box below. And as always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video. Peace out.